What's up everybody? This is not a drill. We need your help. In this video, we're going to talk about the new bills that are being proposed to pass that's going to affect every single one of us, reptile lovers, animal lovers, all of you guys. So the two bills that they're trying to pass are SB906 and SB1414. Now these bills are basically what they're trying to do with 906 is they're trying to ban all green iguanas and tegus so people can't keep them as pets, they can't breed them, they can't you know go out into the wild and catch them you know like going harping or anything. It's basically any activities that has to do with green iguanas or tegus they're trying to ban and the bill SB1414 is basically trying to add on to that so all the iguanas and all the tegus will be banned but all the conditional species that are you know that you need a special permit right now to keep like the Burmese python, reticulated python, um, Indian rock python, green anaconda and all the rest of the other uh, species on there those are going to also get banned so nobody in the in the state of Florida can have them so what does that mean? Not even not even people like us that might use them for you know educational shows or if we're going to ship them outside the state to sell them to other people outside of the state we can't even do that because we can't own them so this is why it, you know it's a scary bill for us because we do live in florida and obviously this is only going to affect the people in florida right now but this these bills have the possibility to have other animals added on to that so whatever they think that could be a threat to the Florida wildlife or the Florida ecosystems they could add on there and once a bill is passed you know all they all they got to do is add things on there and you know we're not we don't have any say in it they could add veiled chameleons panther chameleons you know all kinds all sorts of geckos and other species of reptiles yeah and that's why I said earlier in the introduction that it's gonna affect every single one of us because they're starting now with the big animals you know the evasives the green iguanas the tegus but it's really you know they can add any any reptile any anything onto that list including chameleons crested geckos whatever it is you name it they can add it without without much fight and then you're gonna not be able to own that animal and now what happens if you have that animal and it becomes illegal to own um, you know it's a lot of times what is gonna happen is they're gonna be euthanized so your pet your yeah. your pet tegu or whatever it is you have that's on that list is gonna either have to be euthanized um, if they give you the chance to rehome it, you're gonna have to find someone to out of state because it can't be in the state of Florida. Well, not even because it, what they were saying in the bill is that if you're going to rehome it, you would have to rehome it to somebody that also in Florida that got grandfathered in that has that has a permit of a conditional license. Um, but if not, you know you can't. They're gonna have to euthanize them because that's that's what they're trying to do and it would um, have to be someone who had a permit before the date of July 10 2010. 2010 we can all agree that the green iguanas and the tegus out in the Everglades they are changing the ecosystem yes now banning the people that keep them as pets is just it, it makes no sense it's not gonna help the problem whatsoever and in fact it's going to make the problem worse and we're gonna tell you how so one thing you guys might not know that's going on is there's a lot of people going out and collecting these green iguanas, wild tegus, and they're selling them to other large companies who then most of the time are going to send them out of state because honestly if you're in Florida you're not going to really buy a green iguana where you can go outside and catch one. So most of these are going out of state in places where they won't survive the winter. So you're going to they're going to ban that. So people are collecting thousands and thousands of green iguanas every year, getting them out of the wild and and if this bill passes, you're not going to be able to do that at all. So yeah, you're it's not going to be able to collect. So, so like, like Manny's saying, we literally know people that go that would go out and in one night they could catch 300, 500 iguanas in the summertime, like babies to adults, and the these iguanas they're not it's not like they're we're taking them and then re-releasing them back in the wild no we're taking them and then we're selling them to people who are gonna keep them as pets most of those people are outside the state of Florida so it's already 
it, it's already helping the ecosystem in some way because we're you know eradicating the the problem from from the Everglades and the people who know how to catch these iguanas and these tegus are us the reptile people the there was a there was a report that came out that FWC put out that said that for one tegu for them to catch one tegu it, it's a thousand dollars of ex, of expenses for them yeah. and that's going to come out of taxpayers pockets which is everyone in Florida while right now they're being collected for free and not just that people are making a living or so a partial living exactly. yeah so it's stimulating the economy yeah. and that but, money goes back into the economy we have we have friends that are that the FWC people were asking them how to collect tegus and they were literally the FWC for every one tegu that FWC would collect us we would collect like 50 and I am not even exaggerating the people that work with these animals know how they you know know their behaviors know what to look for um when you're looking for uh, for them in the wild but if you take that right away from us for us to even go in the wild and go find them it's gonna make the problem worse yeah because they're, you're not alleviating that pressure like normally exactly. where we would get rid of a thousand iguanas in this one spot now they're gonna now it's stay illegal there. and now they're gonna stay there so populations are just are gonna explode and there is no way that FWC is going to euthanize as many iguanas as we could ca uh, as we could collect and take out of the of the state we collect and and ship out of the state and out of the country more way more iguanas that they could ever euthanize because they will literally they will literally have to nuke Florida <laughs> for that to happen legit you're not gonna get rid of the problem you can't like you can't cry over spilled milk the problem is already here and it's been here longer than I've been here the, these iguanas have been here for like over three decades I've only I'm only 26 years old like th this is a big problem you know I understand that but the the ecosystems always changing we change the ecosystem so many things change the ecosystem but yeah so another problem um, it, it's going to hurt obviously like we we kind of touched on it it's gonna hurt a bunch of businesses and it's gonna hurt the economy yeah. it's not just us that sell the tegus it's gonna be the people who produce the substrate for the tegus the heat lamps you know all these it all yeah. trickles down it's it's gonna be a massive massive hit to the Florida economy it's not like the people who collect them the people who sell them the people who produce water bowls for them like the, the vegetables the, the vets the like vets, the, 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 the food exactly. substrate lighting like reptile, everything exotic cages. animal pets like like the 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 list of of yeah. people that this is going to affect goes on and on and on so don't think that okay i don't really keep an iguana or a tegu so this is not going to affect me please keep in mind that this is going to affect all of us especially here in florida so i beg you if you are in florida if you love reptiles if you love this hobby like we do you need to go out and do something and we are going to tell you what to do at the end of the video now i i really believe that these politicians and the people trying to pass most of this legislation they're not doing this out of like you know they're like I don't like those reptile people or whatever it's just a lot of people are misinformed with the information that's out there every news every like headline out there is like you know 20 foot Burmese python is found in the Everglades like and people freak out like it's some big like monster that's destroying the that's uh, hunting like children the city that's hunting children yeah. it's not like that at all now there are obviously a, a bunch of um, Burmese pythons in the Everglades and all these things but like banning the species, banning all these animals isn't going to help the problem. It's just going to make more problems. Yeah, and we do need to come together with with legislators, with politicians to come up with a better solution. Because yes, these invasive animals are an issue. Yes, some of them are because of the hobby and some of them are because FWC themselves or other building organizations or a lot of different, you know, there's a lot of different people to blame. And but... You know, like he said, the problem's already here, and we need to come up with common sense laws that are gonna help fix this problem or alleviate this problem. And banning them outright is just gonna make it worse, especially for the environment, especially for the people involved in this. And, and even for the people who just want a cool pet, you know, I don't think a lot of these politicians or people who are coming up with, these, with the legislature for this even owns or have ever owned a reptile. You know? So, 
Yeah, exactly. So it's they, like they it's, don't. It's hard to, it's hard to understand something you don't know about, or you know, like it, it's easy to ban something that you don't understand, or or maybe you think or that, that you don't like, you don't that, understand, or, or maybe or you don't you don't think you don't think there is a like people. A lot of people don't know there is a population yeah. of people that you know keep reptiles as pets and stuff. So I don't blame them. I I I know some of these people are trying to do it out of the goodness of their heart. They're trying to help the environment or whatever, but you're like. The, a lot of these laws that are trying to get passed, man, they're gonna affect a lot of people. People like us, like we make a living out of this. Um, this is my childhood dream to keep these animals and I don't want to have to pay uh, me as a responsible owner and like these animals to me are like, if I don't have these animals, I don't, I'm like depressed, I don't feel good. I, dead ass, like I, don't, I do not want to have to get rid of these animals. I'd rather move out of the state of Florida. But what can we do to help um, you know, help stop this. Well, we got to talk to our to our officials. Um, we're gonna put in the description below all everything that you could do. Now, some things are as simple as giving a call. Some things are as simple as copying and pasting emails. So, if you've ever, ever, ever been part of the reptile community in Florida or even a, across the country, I plead that you help us with this issue and now is the time that we got to get together because they are trying to they're starting to make moves against these animals and it's, it's not fair for for the rest of us yeah, and the most important thing is this is just the beginning the, if this gets passed it's going to keep adding and adding and exactly. adding and adding just like we've said probably multiple times just because you have a crested gecko and you're like oh i, I don't care about iguanas they don't i don't have them it's going to affect you because and one day they're gonna try to take away your crested geckos. You're gonna, so we gotta all come together, join together, and fight this together. All Be we gotta do, li li literally, all you gotta do is copy and paste in your email. Takes five minutes, if that, if that, and send it to these people. And then you could, if you feel like it, you could write your own personal little message. Obviously, be respectful. These people are not, being disrespectful is not going to get us anywhere. So be respectful. It, we feel like we don't have, you know, we feel like, like especially me, like I, I feel kind of angry about this to be honest. But what are you going to do? You got to talk, you got to talk about it. You got to be, you know, cordial. And we got to start moving. We got to make moves because we just, if we just share this on Facebook, which if you've ever shared a video of ours, please share this one. Um, it, it's not going to, it's not going to, it's gonna help, but you really got you got to get your hands dirty. And by hands dirty, all I'm asking you to do is send an email or make a yeah. call. Yeah, and it's and also pay attention because yeah. this isn't the first time they try to do something like this, and it won't be the last time. Even if this bill fails, they're gonna be back and they're gonna try other tactics, other things. Yeah. So you they, always they, gotta stay up to date. Exactly. Pay attention to what's going on and go to your local meetings. There's a meeting going on Monday. February 3rd in Tallahassee. If you're in the area, please go and voice your opinion on why they shouldn't pass these, these bills. Follow, make sure you follow, if you're in Florida, follow the USR Florida page on Facebook there and you can also subscribe to their email list so they, they, fill, they fill you in with everything that's going on. And if you're in the rest of the country, just you know, look up usarc.org or on Facebook and they will also fill you in with everything. But please guys, we need your help. We gotta fight this thing. And if we just don't do anything about it, next thing you know, we're gonna wake up tomorrow and our kids are not gonna be able to interact with these amazing animals. And you know, make sure you guys comment below, like let us, cause we are trying to find solutions as well. So if you have any ideas on how we could, you know, maybe help this issue in Florida, you know any any ideas any advice you know please put that below because we do want to work with these local legislators we do want to work with politicians so we can make it florida better not just florida everywhere you know so they don't have to deal with invasive animals any of those issues and how we can improve as well that's very important we got to take blame for where blame is due and we gotta we gotta improve and keep improving so we can keep and in, keep enjoying these incredible animals that that you know you wouldn't even know if you're not in this community there's so many animals out there that just being five years ten years deep in this community you're just learning about as incredible as a cat or a dog you know so thank you guys and you know like you said please help SOS <laughs> <laughs>